Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sagerstrom High School Theater. Please be respectful to the performers and silence all cell phones and no flash photography. Thank you and enjoy the show. Nicole arrives to school 30 minutes early every day. She's not a morning person, but who is at 17? After hitting the snooze button on her alarm a few times, she stumbles into the bathroom and looks into the mirror. It's her first disappointment of the day. Her mom says she's beautiful, her dad says she's cute as a button, but all Nicole sees are the imperfections that make walking into school a nightmare. So she arrives early and disappears into the background. Zach lives with his dad in a two-bedroom over a gas station. It's a pretty sweet setup. Pizza for breakfast, pizza for lunch, and donuts for dinner. His mom lives across town. She got the house. Four bedrooms, stainless steel appliances, and granite countertops as far as the eye can see. Zach visits on weekends, but he doesn't like the stainless steel or granite countertops. His dad says they're just like mom. They're nice to look at, but impossible to deal with. The morning Laura turned 16, she had her driver's license in less than an hour. It's true, she has a left foot, but that's what people have come to expect from her. Accelerating has always been her specialty. She walked early, talked early, developed early. She leaves everyone in her rearview mirror. But there's something hot on her trail that no pedal to any metal can outrun. Laura has leukemia, she just doesn't know it yet. Caitlin is in love. In love with the birds, in love with the trees, in love with the sunset. Every night, she sits on her front stoop and watches as the sun touches the horizon. When the bright yellow ball sings out of you and the sky changes color, she says a prayer. Thank you for today, she says. She's not sure if anyone is listening, but she says it anyway. She hopes that someone, someday, will look at her the same way that she looks at the sun and say, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler is pretty awesome. Question, which of the following is one of his best features? His arms, his abs, his glutes? Answer, all of the above. Unfortunately, not all of Tyler's classmates think he's so awesome. He could wallpaper the entire school with detention slips, but what his teachers fail to recognize is that detention is bad. Bad is sexy. All roads lead to awesome. Jessie has a game she likes to play. She can look at any food item and tell you the exact number of calories in it. Starbucks makes it easy because the prices are actually calories in disguise. Just take away the decimal. Cheese croissant, 340 calories. Banana muffin, 410. Peanut butter cookie, 480. And her personal favorite, Adventure Java Chip Frappuccino Blended Cream. Wait for it, wait for it. 590 calories, boom, breakfast. Morgan knows all about being different. When she was five, she learned the different ways to tie a shoelace. Two bunny ears was her favorite. When she was 10, she learned the different ways to ski. And she stuck to the bunny hill. Now she spends all her time with her pet rabbit. She's really into bunnies. People think Morgan is weird, and on a day goes by, she doesn't have to hear all about it. Sarah remembers a time when boys were gross, nap time was stupid, and the worst thing that can ever happen was dropping an ice cream cone on the sidewalk. So, what the hell happened? Sam is knee deep in SAT scores, college applications, and everything else that makes life complicated. She wants to go back to a time when things were easy, and she had time for herself. Autumn. Temperature drops. Leaves change. Backpacks ready. Pencils sharpened. Senior year. First day of school. Mom says it's what's on the inside that matters. It's unimportant if a person is overweight, if they had pimples, if they're tall or short, or if they have brown or red hair. So long as a person is nice and kind, they'll be loved. But as I walked into gym class on the first day of school, I realized something. We're a load of crap! It turns out, beauty totally comes from the outside. It's ugly! That comes from within. Your duck face. What? Quack. What are you talking about? Quack, quack, quack. Stop it. Oh, nice picture, Daffy. Don't call me that. You prefer Donald? My name is Nicole. Why are you being so mean? 
you're despicable. See what I mean? On the outside, beautiful. On the inside... Ugly hardly describes the way a mom treats dad. She's brutal. Shirking his gas tank, stealing his mail, spying on him, and let's not forget the time she threatened him with the shotgun. It's not like he did anything to her. I mean, if anyone should be sorry, it should be her. And with a little help, she was. So did you do it? Let's just say she got the open concept living room she always wanted. So what are you gonna do if she finds out it was you? I hope she finds out it was me. What? Why else do you think I did it? Really? She needs to know she's not the only one in this family that's mad. Got it, loud and clear. It's not a very pretty picture, but it's an honest one. Picture day, the most important day of the year and I'm sort of known for having super amazing hair. My mom's a hairdresser, so I always have the latest style. This year, I was thinking up, but down, and to the sides what's in right now. So that's what we did, but now I'm not so sure. I really like it up, so many decisions. What are you so worried about? How can you say that? It's picture day. We're 17, isn't every day picture day? I just hope I bought the right dress. It's fine. Fine? That's not good enough. I don't want my kids to come across my yearbook someday and go, what was she thinking? Calm yourself. So? So what? Is this a what was she thinking dress? No, but this is a what was she thinking face. This is so exhausting. Take a pill. No, really, I think I'm gonna faint. Laura, you don't look so good. Me or the dress? You're drenched in sweat, sit down. That was the moment the whole world changed. Suddenly, I wasn't smiling for the camera, Laura, anymore. I was sick and tired of studying. If I have to look at one more textbook about World War II, I swear I'll end up growing an itty big black mustache. But if I don't study, I won't get into the school I want. If I don't get into the school I want, I might as well learn how to flip burgers. Must stay awake! Holy cow, Sam. <laughs> you got enough caffeine there? Who wrote that list? What list? You know, the list! The list! I have no idea what you're talking about. Think, woman! They even made a movie about it! That's it? I'm cutting you off. No more Red Wolf. For I know! I know who wrote that list, but I'm so tired. And right now, all I can come up with is Qui-Gon Jinn! And that's not right! Or is it? Are Jedi's German? I don't think so. I need to pass this test! Sam, it's Mr. Cow. Everyone is going to pass. <laughs> I don't mean pass it. I have to ace it. I have dreams, you know! I have dreams too. Schindler! I'm not stupid. Schindler's List! Wait a sec. Star Wars is about World War II? I never did end up going to sleep. I took the test, but I was so groggy that I messed up the essay question. Thankfully, Mr. Howe graded it on a sliding. Scales are the worst. Eat 4,000 calories on Monday, and by Wednesday, long after you've forgotten if it was a cheeseburger or a hot dog you ate, the number on the scale reminds you it was both, and by Friday, the onion rings and french fries start to appear. <laughs> Why are you going on a diet? You look perfectly fine to me. You want to talk. <laughs> I don't understand. Please, you eat a whole bag of Doritos every day and it never shows. That's not true. It's like you have a hidden trap door that opens up at night and lets all the carbs. You're not fat. Not yet, and I intend to keep it that way. We could go to the gym together. Ugh. Or play volleyball. I hate sports. Listen, I'm just throwing out ideas. I think a crash diet is a little extreme. So is having to buy two seats on an airplane. Just saying. 165 ways to lose weight, 165 books on how to lose weight, 165 pounds, ready, set. Go get your own girlfriend, I said, and that's when I pounded his face in. Man, you should have seen it. It was beautiful. He was on the concrete car and the big old baby he is. When he finally got up, there was gravel caked up, caked up in his cheek. What can I say? Some artists paint with a brush, I paint with a fist. That was crazy. Totally. Whoa, man, how many stitches? Selfie! 16! That's all? I know, not even close to my record. But I saw his face. That was 50 stitches, at least. That's what I thought. And you? Are you kidding? Stitches are for crybabies. <laughs> yeah. You want to know the best part? What? I never even seen that girl before. I just told him that she was my girlfriend, so I'd have a reason to deck him. Since when have you ever needed a reason? I just didn't like the way he looked at me, you know? Totally. Hey, Nick, you know what? What? Not so bad after you dropped that whole good girl thing. Thanks. Yeah, it really never suited you anyway. No, it didn't. So what if I got suspension? Like that's supposed to be a suitable punishment? Girls love it when guys get into trouble. Plus, 
gives me a little bit more time to hit the gym and work on my... Absolutely not. There's no way that I'm sending my picture to a guy just because he asked. Whatever happened to romance? Seriously, you guys need to get with the program. A girl wants flowers and candy and notes in her locker, not some low res picture of a sunken chest. And if this guy thinks he's getting a picture of my chest, well, um, he's more delusional than I thought. So, are you gonna do it? Of course not. There's nothing romantic about a hard drive filled with dirty pictures. Romance is overrated. No, romance is underrated. Oh, tell that to my parents. I know it's crazy that I have this hope that there's this perfect guy out there just sitting, waiting for me. Only he doesn't know that he's waiting for me. But the fact that I know that he's waiting for me and he doesn't know that he's waiting for me makes all this waiting more romantic than I can possibly express. <laughs> no, I think you expressed it quite clearly. Don't laugh. Well, what if this guy doesn't exist? He does. And if he doesn't? He exists. And if he doesn't, won't you be disappointed? But can't you see? He could be anyone. He could be the guy walking his dog down the street. He could be the guy sitting next to me on the bus. He could be... What? You. You're making it impossible not to laugh. No, really, wouldn't it be perfect if the perfect guy was right in front of my eyes and I just didn't see him? You, you watch too many movies. Maybe I do watch too many movies. Maybe I am expecting too much. Maybe one picture won't hurt. I just can't bear the thought of ending up with me. Nobody ever sits with me at lunch. It's not as bad as it sounds. I'm not the kind of person who craves attention. I don't need to take a thousand pictures of myself every day just to prove I exist. Hey world, look at me, notice me. Love me. Me, me, me. When did everyone become so self-centered? As I see it, the word selfie is two letters away from selfish. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Thanks. So, what's up? Huh? Got any plans for tonight? I'm sorry, but do you mind if we don't talk? What? I'm super tired and wanted a quiet place where nobody would bother me. Oh. If I fall asleep, wake me when the bell rings. Sure. Thanks, Emil. Look at me. Notice me. Love me. Who needs that, right? Oh, well. I have time. It's only... Winter. Snowfalls. Icicles form. Mittens return. Snowballs attack. Angels appear. Christmas. December 25th. The day our bachelor life came crashing to an end. Dad's new girlfriend moved in and she ruined everything. Just like that, she inserted herself into my life the way a toothpick does underneath the fingernail. Well, is she nice at least? When Dad's around, yeah, but when he's gone, it's a whole nother story. The other day, she took down all these things in the living room that were mine and hung up these ugly porcelain angels. That, that's, that's gross. I know. I, I just don't know what to do anymore. Well, maybe... Well, smash them. I would. And she answered everything. Because it works. But everything was perfect until she came along. Now she's always asking, where are you going? What are you doing? I told her off this morning and she told me to get down on my knees and pray for forgiveness. Gross. If it happens again, she'll be the one in need of prayer. Well, tell your dad. Like he'd care. His brain no longer makes the decisions. Well, then what are you waiting for? Go show them, angels, who is boss. And I did. The next morning I was sent packing, but I don't know which one is worse. Living with her, or living with... Mom drove me to every single doctor's appointment. It didn't matter if there was a rainstorm, or a blizzard, or even a cancellation. She'd yell at the nurses to find an opening if it was necessary. It was often necessary, which I didn't like at all. I hate being the reason Mom is sad. How can we bring oven mitts? Oh, these? They're not oven mitts. They sure look like oven mitts. Uh, I only wish I was taking brownies out of the oven. These are to keep my fingernails from popping off. What? 
if you want to go, I understand. No, it's fine. I said I'd be here, and I want to be here. It's the chemo. Apparently, some people's fingernails curl up and pop off, so they give you these frozen gloves to prevent that from happening. What about your hair? What about it? Is it gonna fall out? Probably, but I'd rather find a clump of hair on the couch than a bunch of fingernails. Are you scared? Scared? No. Really? A person can only be scared of things they can't control. Trust me, I've got this. I'm glad to hear you say that. The truth is, I was scared. I am scared, but what's the point of having two people scared when there only has to be 111 pounds, 111 stairs I can climb, 111 dresses I can wear, 100 boys at school is driving me crazy. So I ditched the book for one night, one stupid night. But one night is all it takes to change everything. Things got crazy and I totally lost my judgment. I wasn't thinking at all. And once you send something into cyberspace, there's no taking it back. So, what are you gonna do? I don't think there's anything I can do. The damage has been done. It's not like we all haven't done it. But we all don't have the pictures to prove it. I think you're making too much a big deal of this. No, I'm not. Caitlin is friends with Tyler, Tyler is friends with Nicole, and Nicole's uncle is the Dean of Administrations at the university I'm dying to get into! Okay, okay. Maybe he won't see it. Maybe he won't care. Oh, he saw it. He definitely cares. He printed a copy and faxed it to my dad! Who uses a fax machine anymore? That's the point. The point is, he doesn't think I have the dedication to be at his university. HIS university! Like he owns the place or something! But you're the most dedicated person I know. Yeah, but a picture says a thousand words. And the thousand words he got say otherwise. So, now what? Good question. Now what? You don't know how badly I want to crawl under my bed and play with my little toys like I used to do when I was... Little is the new big. Cars used to be big, and now they're little. Cell phones used to be huge, and now they're tiny. The world used to be enormous, and now it's small. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Think about it. I am, but this is a weird conversation. Fine, take music for example. It used to be you needed a huge orchestra to listen to music. Then they figured out a way to put it into a machine. Then it got smaller when they started inventing records. Smaller still when they invented cassettes. Then CDs. Now, music doesn't even exist anymore. Just the idea of it exists. It's up there in the cloud waiting to be downloaded. Your point? Is this what happens to us? Do we exist on the planet getting smaller and smaller until one day we end up in the cloud waiting to be remembered? Just the idea of us exists. You're giving me a headache. Never mind, it was a stupid thought. Maybe I'm just hungry. Me too, hungry for answers. I just want to know why did I do it? Better yet, why did he do it? I'm such an idiot thinking that my Prince Charming was on the other end of an internet connection. I'll never be able to show my face at school again. Yeah, you'll never be able to show your face at school again. Who's seen it? Only everybody. Shoot my power. There's a meme going around too. But what does it say? You don't want to know. Just tell me. I'm sorry. What did I do to deserve this? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just want to crawl into a hole. Dying for your art is what makes the artist immortal. And that was my plan. The fight to end all fights. Tyler, are you awake? Laura? Yeah, Laura. Am I in the hospital? Yeah. Good. No, not good. Great? Right? Terrible. You almost died. I did? Yeah. Sweet. How many stitches? Uh, I don't know. A lot. Your leg's a mess. No, not me. The other guy. You mean other guys? There's more than one. Yeah. You're lucky to be alive. Laura? Yeah? Is that you? Yes. Am I in the hospital? Yes, you're in the hospital. Six weeks I was there. And then six more in juvenile. Detention? For real? What do they think I am? Twelve? And do they really think a locked door is going to stop me? 
Most of the windows in our pathetic school don't even shut. You've really changed, Nicole. These last few months, I don't even know who you are anymore. Do you remember that song Mr. Dyke made us listen to in band class? Change is good, or let's make a change, or the times they are changing. Whatever it was, keyword change. Besides, who's talking, Miss Party Animal? That was one day! For you? It's a lifestyle! Mind your own business. I just don't want to see you end up making something stupid. Something you can't take back. Something permanent. Or what? You're going to ground me? All I'm saying is, keep this up and you'll end up with no friends. I have plenty of friends. Quantity is not the same as quality. Thanks for the tip. Maybe we can stitch it on a pillow. I just don't want to see you end up all alone. Hey, people are finally starting to notice me. For the wrong reason. But they're noticing. And when it comes down to it, don't we all end up alone? Well, you're certainly making sure of it. I know that was mean. I'm not even sure if I meant it, but she was drifting away, so why not give her a push? Whatever. Things change. People change. Even the seasons change. It's almost... Spring. Ice cracks. Water flows. Floods arrive. Flowers bloom. Children play. Sunlight lingers. I used to love the sunset, but now it just makes me sad. Marks the end of something, another day gone, another day by myself. The whole picture thing put up these walls around me that weren't there before. And I don't like it, not one bit. I'm scared, but feel so alone. I'm just scared to reach down and take a chance on what I know deep down really matters. But still, I blow a sunset a kiss. Just in case. Love sure has a way of smacking you across the face. Boy, did I have it all wrong. As your girlfriend, she wasn't you at all. All of a sudden, mom's new crazy actions made perfect sense. Kinda makes you wonder, who can you trust? Well, I know you can trust. Nobody! The only person you can look out for is yourself. I just wanted somebody to be proud of me. When you feel bad about yourself, you try to find different ways to feel good about yourself. At first it was my body, which turned out awesome, if I do say so myself. But that wasn't enough. My corrections officer says I'm making progress. And there are all kinds of programs in here. Basketball, carpentry, painting even. And funny enough, I'm good at it. I just don't think anyone will notice. Too little, too late. I look in the mirror and I don't even recognize myself. Sure, I got everything I wanted, popularity, parties, a life. But I'm not sure if they're what I want anymore. Can a person try on different personalities to see which one fits? Or do they become our permanent fixtures? I can't change the things I've done, but I can change the things I'm going to do. I can at least try. People say I eat my feelings, but they have it backwards. My feelings eat me. I wish there was a measurement for self-esteem, but there's not. I learned that the hard way. 95 hairs in the sink, 95 trips to the doctor, 95 people telling me I'm too skinny. I see the signs, but I need someone to show me the way. I don't think I can make this trip alone. Lonely is living in the future. Here and now passes you by until a string of yesterdays pile up like snowflakes. And digging yourself from under them is exhausting. A rejection letter arrives in the mail today. Not like I didn't expect it. I brought it on to myself, but don't we all? So, uh, I didn't lose any fingernails, but my hair fell out. A small price to pay, I guess, and I always wanted to be a redhead. I'm not afraid of dying. We all die, so what's to be afraid of? I just don't want to be by myself when it happens, especially if it happens when I'm young. When my grandparents died, my mom was no longer a daughter. When dad died last year, she was no longer a wife. And if I died, she'd no longer be a mom. I wouldn't want her to go through that alone. My pet 
that rabbit died this morning. He was old, so it's not exactly a tragedy, but I'll miss him just the same. Having him around meant that I didn't have to talk to myself. He listened to all the weird things I had to say and never judged me for a second. And in doing so, he made a difference. He didn't just see me. He saw the me I'm going to be, which gives me faith in other people. Faith that people can change. Faith that life is not about what other people see. It's about the picture you have of yourself. Summer. Summer. On the first day of summer, at 4.34 p.m., Laura died. The nurses looked on as Laura's mom collected her belongings into a small cardboard box. It was the first time she grabbed her phone without a fight. She turned it on. The screen illuminated and a smile appeared on her face. The last selfie Laura took was beautiful. Her eyes twinkled, the corners of her mouth were turned up. She was alive, and best of all, she wasn't alone. Caitlin is in love with the sun, Bryce. Something about watching the sun peek over the horizon to greet the new day is even more beautiful than a sunset. Beginnings always are. Zach sits with Caitlin and takes it all in. Love might not be forever, but right now, right now is enough. He is thankful. Tyler is still awesome. Even more awesome since he traded his fist for a paintbrush. He made his sister proud. Morgan still feels different, but so does everyone else. She named her new rabbit Tyler and no longer feels weird about feeling weird. Jessie knew there was 220 calories on her ice cream cone, but that was no longer the number she counted. The only number in her mind was the number three, three friends and counting. Nicole looks in the mirror and she finally sees what her parents said was there all along. Her beauty didn't come from the reflection she saw. She looked away from the mirror and never looked back. A scoop of vanilla ice cream toppled from Sam's waffle cone into the sidewalk. She looked at it and laughed, realizing there's always more ice cream. There's always more... everything. Before Laura died, she looked at her phone and did not like what she saw. So she snapped one last selfie and released it into the crowd. Laura closed her eyes and thought to herself, that's better. <laughs>